Right now, thousands of music fans are making their way inside Bonnaroo. They are the first to arrive at the annual four-day music festival in Manchester. You know, it's always a big deal, and tomorrow, believe it or not, Bonnaroo begins its 13th year of entertainment with some old and some new stars headlining. We sent Fox 17 Sky Arnold down to the farm to find out what you need to know if you're thinking about going. It's become something of a Bonnaroo tradition. Yes! The day before the festival, fans let their hair down in this Walmart parking lot. It's the best party I've been at. The Bonnaroo Yeti, as he calls himself, drove here from Detroit. And like every fan, there's one show he's looking forward to. Seeing Jack White, he's my dog. I love him. Nashville's Jack White is going to be a big draw Saturday night. Along with other headliners, Kanye West Friday night and this legendary star who's taking the stage Sunday. And everybody's talking about Elton John. Yeah, like, he's Elton a classic, legend. So he's going to put on a good show. We're always looking for the great iconic artists to come to Bonnaroo and perform. Bonnaroo founder Ashley Capps says the festival started looking at Elton John after last year's performance by another legendary star. Especially after Paul McCartney's performance last year, you know, it's I was like, okay, what are we going to do in 2014? And now, obviously, camping out in a tent in a field, well, it's not for everyone. And that's why this year, for the second year in a row, they're offering something a little different. Bonnaroo is letting you buy a day pass. Those day passes include a round-trip bus ride to the festival from Nashville. So it's for those folks that maybe want to experience Bonnaroo, but not experience some of the other aspects of Bonnaroo. In other words, if you want to see Jack White or Elton John or anyone else playing here, but aren't quite sure you want to camp by the Bonnaroo Yeti. In Manchester, Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News.